What's up my friends? Jen Hoi Figurator, Priority One, Group Impact. We're going to do a zip code tour today, zip code 50266 West Des Moines. Now this zip code is large and there is a lot of um, a lot of things happening. This you know, is is the area to be. So we need to split this into two parts. So today is part one, and then we'll do a part two after that. Um, part one would be any part, um, any side east of 60th Street, um, and we're gonna start right here at University and 22nd Street. So let's go. So this is 22nd Street and University Avenue. There's a ton of food options here. Um, we just passed by McDonald's, there's Jazz Rose, um, Arby's coming up right here on the side, Famous Dave's, there's Culver's. Um, just a ton of options, you know, just head down here, get your fi quick fix and head on to work, head on to anywhere you, you are heading to. So right here on the right, um, we just passed by here is Ken Shaw Golf. I'm a huge golf fan. Um, they are golf instructors, great golf instructors. If you need recommendations, um, if you need swing practice, come stop by and uh, see them. Right here is Ironside X Club. Um, basically, what you can do is with a little guidance, you know, some trainers in there, they teach you how to throw an X. How cool is that? Come try it out.
here is Clock Tower Square, basically a little strip mall. Um, you got a bunch of options right here, fresh Thai market right in front. Um, and then you do have here right on the side is the Brazil Steakhouse. And then TJ Maxx, and you do have also on the side, we'll do a loop over, is Waterfront Seafood and um, Ohana Steakhouse. Right here we're turning into Valley West Mall. So this was once the mall um, right here in Des Moines. Um, that was in the 1970s. Um, right now there, there are a few anchor tenants. There's Blaze Pizza, there is um, Chipotle, a bunch of food options as well. Uh, but there is a multi-million dollar proposal to revitalize this mall to make it uh, the next destination again. I think it involves 
hotels and um, you know, a bit of fun stuff going on so we'll see what happens just kind of watch this space and maybe it will be the mall again Right here we pull into Hy-Vee Grocery um, as well as there is Target on the side which we will swing by over. Um, you know come do your grocery fix if you live in the area and stop by. This is Target. This is Home Depot, your home improvement store. Um, stop by, grab your tools. We love the Home Depot brand Ryobi, so that's where you get it.
So this is Water Tower um, Water Tower Place Street Mall. You have a bunch of options here. Um, Best Buy, Whole Foods, you have Bye Bye Baby that yeah, we just passed by. Um, there is also Hu Hot Mongolian Grill right here. Um, World Market as well. You got a ton of um, international options in World Market. So stop by, do a international shopping right in this corner. Turning right into here, you have Chick fil A right off the side here, Laughing Crab, um, Kajun Seafood, Golf Galaxy is tucked back there, as well as um, Barnes and Noble right on the currently right side.
so just minutes away from Home Depot earlier, we have a Lowe's. Competitors of um, together and uh, you got options, so you win. So this is West Town Parkway, basically um, a bunch of um, offices space or you know, a bunch of offices around this um, street and you do have Waska Law Firm coming up right here on the side. Uh, you won't see Waska Law Firm on the, on the side here but this building basically is Waska Law Firm and it does um, about 80-90% of all the real estate transaction in town on one of the busiest real estate law firm in town. Coming up on the right side here, you do have Jerry's Homes um, main office. Uh, Jerry's Homes basically one of the largest local builder in town here, established since 1957. Um, great selection of floor plans, basically building in every suburbs in town.
This is Valley High School in West Des Moines. So we turn into this um, nice neighborhood here, nice neighborhood here, right by Valley High School. Um, it's good mix between homes and townhomes and apartments in this area. Um, generally, they are all built within the 1970s to the 1980s. Homes wise, you know, you are looking about three to four bedrooms with two bathrooms. Um, general price range about two hundred fifty thousand to three hundred thousand price range. right on the side here you do see some um, apartment style they are all priced right under the hundred thousand dollars hundred thousand range um, generally about two bedrooms two bathrooms usually come with one car detached garage and then on the left here you have a bunch of um, townhouses as well um, they are mainly priced about 175,000 to about 225,000 
um, you know, mainly three bedrooms, two bathrooms, as well as um, some that has two bedrooms. Most of them also have two car garage.
just turn into another neighborhood. Uh, this neighborhood, the price range is about two hundred seventy-five thousand to three hundred twenty-five thousand. Pretty nice house. Um, they are all built about eighties to nineties, so a little um, younger homes compared to the earlier neighborhood that we we were just in. Generally, three to four bedrooms. Um, there are some. Three car garage, but mainly two car garage in this neighborhood. So we just pulled into um, Sun Prairie Apartments. Um, basically, it is affordable apartments right here in West Des Moines. We used to live in one of these units here. Um, currently, just on the website, average rent uh, for a three-bedroom apartment is just under a thousand dollars.
to another neighborhood right here. This is um, slightly. This is just south of Ashworth. Um, neighborhoods here mainly built in the 80s. Uh, price range is about three to four hundred thousand. Um, you do have some closer to 250, but also you do have some really nice ones closer to about 500,000 here. Mostly four bedrooms, three bathrooms with two car garage. You do have some three car garage mixed in um, fancy houses, you know, pretty nice houses right here in this neighborhood.
into another neighborhood here. This is south of EP True Parkway. Um, homes here built generally in the, um, in the late 90s. Um, prices wise, they are in the high 300s. And you know, you could, you know, we'll, we'll get to some of it, you could get up to um, closer to about million dollar homes right here in this neighborhood. Um, mostly, there are four bedrooms. Um, mostly four bathrooms as well you do have some two-car garage as you see right here but uh, generally there are about three-car garage as well
right on 60th Street and uh, Village View Drive. Right here on the corner, um, on the left corner right here is Iowa Association of Realtors. So we are entering a, the higher price range neighborhood. Um, right here, you can see nice big homes, um, fancy modern houses. There are generally about seven to eight hundred thousand. Um, you can get up close to you know, about a million dollars. Right here we are close to uh, West Glen Town Center. This is Ponderosa Village. You do have um, nice homes, uh, less yard, but you know private alley driveway style homes. Um, price wise, they are about two to three hundred thousand dollars range. Um, three bedrooms, mainly two car garage. You know, in the private alley, like what we are driving through right here. Newer homes generally built within the last five years, um, even some being built even last year and this year, so very new homes. So we're pulling into West Glen Town Center, um, another happening spot right here in West Des Moines. Uh, you do have Target right on the side, on the left side right here. You also have a bunch of whole, uh, bunch of houses. Uh, sorry, bunch of shop houses. 
um, banana leaf is right here you do have Hertz donut and right here you have the escape room right on the side on the right side here um, Joseph jewelry is right in front you do have also a bridal shop um, right up front so take a look around nice um, West Glen Town Center right here nice area to hang out in so there you go Right up front here you do have Play-Doh's Closet, um, basically they sell used clothing, um, you do, you are also able to sell your own used clothes to them and uh, get cash back or I think you get a credit back and you can shop uh, with them as well. Nice place to shop, get a bunch of clothes and right straight up here too is Regis building so you do have a lot of offices right in this building 5550. front you do have a funny bone basically is um, a comedy center and restaurant you can come here and watch um, stand-up comedies
and this on the side here is Wellman's um, pub they do have a rooftop area as well so pretty cool spot to hang out especially during the warmer weathers To a little strip mall here right off Mill Civic Parkway you do have the container store here um, on the left you do have Raising Cane's kitchen uh, chicken sorry <laughs> Raising Cane's chicken right here on the side uh, on the right side and REI equipment uh, further down here um, just a little bit more Straight ahead here, we are facing Caribou, Caribou Coffee um, and the Einstein Brothers Bagels as well. And so this is where we end our tour for zip code 50266 part 1 of uh, West Des Moines. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel, hit the bell button, that way you get notified when part 2 of zip code 50266 get published for now your favorite signing out